Here we have another video in our series for Microsoft Word and word processing and we're going to look at some particular features that a lot of people don't know about and that is managing the line and page breaks of your paragraphs and there's some really nice features here that can make your life a lot easier so let's go check them out. So we've done a video on paragraph settings and you can go check that out the link is in the description but I want to highlight some of the features for paragraphs that you might not be aware of. So I'm just going to select a paragraph and just go look at the paragraph settings. So if we come over here and click on paragraph we should by now know all about the alignment and the indentation and the spacing and the line spacing and we've done a video on tabs but a lot of people don't know about this tab over here. If I click over here, we've got a whole bunch of options that are available to us. And I want to explain what they mean. We've done videos on line numbers and hyphenation and we talk about those settings there. But I want to talk about these four and what do they mean. So at the moment, you'll see that widow and orphan control is set to on. What that means is if I come over here to the bottom of the page, whenever a page changes to a new page, so over here, do you notice that there is two lines of this paragraph over here? The moment you have one line left over, that line that's left over is called an orphan. And the same could apply, for example, do you notice that there are two lines of this paragraph at the bottom of the previous page? And then the rest of the paragraph is on the top of the next page. Now, if I press enter one more time, you notice that those two lines all go to the next page because we don't ever want one line by itself at the bottom of a page and then the rest of the paragraph after that. And on the same account, we do not want just one line at the end of a paragraph at the top of a page and the rest of it was on the previous page. So that's what orphan and widow control is. That line is considered an orphan and that line is considered a widow. But if we had to take the widow control off, so if I take it off and then I deleted some of these enters, do you notice now that it does now allow one line to be left by itself over here and then the rest of the paragraph? That means that it's allowing a widow situation. And if I delete some of these and let's move this paragraph up a bit, I want you to take note of the bottom. There are two lines there. If I delete one more, do you see now there's one line left over on the next page? That is an orphan. So we allow in that in this case. If I select the paragraph and put that widow orphan control back on, it makes sure that at least two lines are on the next page. It doesn't have just one by itself. So that is by default. Most paragraphs will have that feature. So just so that you know what it is. But what happens if we don't even want two lines? We, we always want this paragraph to stay together. I don't want it to be split. Well, if that's the case, we do have that option. If I come here, we can keep the lines together. If we say keep lines together, that means it will never be separated. It will only move to the top. For example, if we adjust this, it will only ever move there if it can move the entire paragraph. You'll see there's nothing of that paragraph over here. The moment I have enough space to move part of that paragraph to the next page, it'll move the entire paragraph. Another scenario might be, for example, over here with a heading and a paragraph. Let's say we want multiple paragraphs to stay together. For example, this is technically a paragraph and this is its own paragraph. If we want this to always stay together. So for example, if I put enough soft enters in. Remember, it's very bad to do this in your document, but in just soft enters, you can see them over there. But I'm just doing this to demonstrate what it looks like. If I put enough soft enters over here, you'll notice that this paragraph is now being split. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But at some point, I might get to a situation where the heading is at the bottom of a page and the paragraph associated with that heading starts on a new page. And we don't ever want this type of situation in your professional documents. So what I can do then is I can can select this paragraph which is technically just the heading and then I'm going to come here to your paragraph settings and then I'm going to say must keep with the next I want this paragraph to always keep with the next paragraph so that they always stay together and click OK that means this will always stay with that and it doesn't matter if I press enough enters, it will only move to the next page if part of that paragraph comes with it. So if I say both keep this paragraph, for example, keep these lines together, that means that this heading and this paragraph will never move over here unless there's enough space for all of it. So you can see how you can use a combination of it. I'm just deleting the spaces. It will only ever move to the top as long as all of the paragraph, keep the lines 
together and the heading keep with next so that it stays together so if i press enter you see boom it'll move it all the way to the bottom that's also useful for something like this if we have this type of scenario where you've got a whole list of data each line might be its own paragraph and i'm going to go and press enter 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 until we get over here and you can see now your data's been split maybe you want to keep all of that always together again a really useful tool would be keep with next okay so that's a great feature another feature is do you notice how this heading is at the top and so we might be in a situation where we have it at, like that but let's say i always want this to be at the top of a page i never want it at the bottom so for that paragraph we're going to use this feature page break before so you can actually set that to just this paragraph so i select this paragraph and say this must always have a page break before it which means it will always be at the top so it doesn't matter what text we add if i copy this paragraph and paste it and if i paste it another time it's now moved onto a new page that heading and that other paragraph has moved to the next page because this must always be at the top of a page so let's recap orphan and widow control if it's selected that means the first line of a paragraph mustn't be left alone on one page while the rest of the paragraph is on the other page and often means we don't want the last line to be on a new page while the rest of the paragraph is on the previous one so this is by default set to that in this case at least two lines will be moved to the next page or two lines will be left on the previous one but if you don't want that if you want the whole paragraph to keep together then you will use keep lines together so the whole paragraph will either move to the new page or it will stay on the page that it's on if you want multiple paragraphs to stay together for example with headings then you will always say it must keep this with the next if one of the paragraphs in the grouping moves to the next page the entire grouping will move to the next page and then page break before just means that this paragraph must always be at the top of a new page if there's enough text on the previous page that's going to come between it it will rather move that paragraph to a brand new page so there we go those are our options remember it is with the paragraphs but we forget about that tab over there so there we go now that you know that you can set your document to automatically do what it needs to do when you are typing and isn't that great this channel relies on your support so please make sure that you click on the subscribe button make sure that you share us with your friends so we can help them as well and follow us on tiktok at mr long education and together we won't do it the long way but we're going to do it the mr long way